Nebulas. They're pretty cool. This planet is in a nebula. I mean, kind of. It's, it's like right in front of it. But today what we're going to do is look for planets that exist inside nebulas and see what like our night sky would look like. Also like what it would be like to live inside of a nebula. So this planet's actually not technically in the nebula, but more like right outside of it. But that could be better because then you get more of a nebula view in your night sky. So at night, if we turn on realistic lighting, so this is realistic at night, you could see our night sky. Um, there's, it looks like one of its moons, but anyway, the main attraction is going to be the nebula. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. So if, your night sky, if you turn your exposure up enough, I mean, really, you're going to be pretty dark. So this is what it might realistically look like. But then if you had a telescope of some sort, you could zoom in and get a view like this, which would be really cool. But I do want to also see what it would actually look like to be inside the nebula completely. So let's go back HDR. So we're going to leave this planet here. Um, oh, by the way, this nebula was sent to me on Discord. So if you want to send me cool stuff like this, join the Discord server. Links in the description. But let's go. So we can just kind of pick a star. So this is like really inside the nebula now. And let's look for a star. There's one right here. Click on the star. And then we see if the star has any planets. Yes, this one has a lot of planets. So let's go to one of these planets. Here's one of the planets that exists here. This is a gas giant, so we can't land on it. But you could see what it might look like. Wow. Let's, for example, go to one of its moons, land on the moon. So this is what it might look like to be actually in it. So realistic lighting, you're not going to see it as much because the light of the star is going to overtake really any nebula. But if you hide so you don't see that, if you come over here and come maybe down here so you can't see the planet, wondering if maybe you could start to see the nebula. Oh, a little bit. You can see the blueness. Okay, but let's find, let's see if there's any planets with life actually right here in this nebula. So let's go star browser, multi, unicellular or multicellular life. Okay, this looks like the closest one to us and the planet with life is right here. Let's see how far it is. Okay, so it's, there's not actually any in the nebula because this is a little further out. Whoa, wait, what is this nebula? Are we in like a different nebula? Oh, oh, this is the same nebula. This is just the other side of it. So there's two sides to this nebula and this planet's sort of on the side that's ugly. So that's no help. <laughs> but these are all procedurally generated nebulas. Like this isn't a real nebula. That kind of looks like Earth, right? Like if this was the water, the white was the water and this was the land, that could be Earth. Anyway, so let's go. Uh, we're going to look around at a couple more procedurally generated nebulas, and then we're going to look at some real nebulas and see what those might look like. So actually, what galaxy is this? This is just a procedurally generated galaxy, too. So I turned up the nebulae so you can see them more. So all these dots are nebulae. So let's go to a new procedurally generated galaxy. So these are all galaxies here. We're going to pick this one here. That seems like a good pick. Let's look at what that looks like. Okay. Not as, it's not like a spiral galaxy, but we should still be able to find some cool stuff in here, hopefully. Are these all the bright things? These are the nebulae? Oh yeah, okay, here's a planetary nebula. Oh yeah, look at that, that's cool. Okay, so let's try to find a planet right on the edge of this one, maybe. This might be too far on the edge of its galaxy. Is this a star right here in the middle? Yeah, I think these are like supernova remnants, maybe? Don't quote me on that, but that could be the case. Here's a planet that's in here, right in the middle. Okay, realistic lighting. It's crazy how it could be that bright and then you go to realistic lighting and it's just like, there's nothing here. But if you go to the night side, you will see that once the exposure adjusts, we should start to see it. Yeah, see, we got a little blue sky at night. So even at night, you'd see the blue and there's the rings. But if you could turn the exposure up enough, you could see how blue it really is. But the view from inside isn't as cool as the view from outside, I think. Like right outside the nebula, pretty cool. But this is like right on the edge of the galaxy, so there's not a lot of stars. So let's find another galaxy. Maybe a spiral one will work better. Just fly really, really, really far and pick this one. Spiral? No, but it does look, oh, it is. It does look like it has a lot of nebulae. So let's go to like, what color should we go to? Whoa, the colors are beautiful. Okay, what about this orange one? I wonder if the orange ones are going to look any cool. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, that is a cool nebula, actually. And there's a bunch of stars in here. So we might be able to see what it would look like in here. Here's a planet. Okay. So what's our night sky look like? You can see a little bit of the purple hues. And that looks like just from the galaxy. And whoa, you could see like the reflection 
from the moon. And realistic lighting is just a little bit less colorful. You turn the exposure up enough, you'll start to see it. So this is realistic technically if you could turn your exposure up really high. So if you had a really long exposure camera shot on this planet, this is what your night sky would look like, which is awesome. Okay, let's see if we can find one right outside of this nebula. Maybe like this star? This planet here, you're picked. Okay, night sky on this side of the planet. Oh, whoa, wait, hold on. What is with this planet? Is this, oh, they're, those are clouds. We can turn the clouds off. Okay. Whoa, this planet's got like volcanoes on it. So let's land here. You could see, whoa, that is cool. So here's our brightness from the galaxy. That's what this, this white section is going across the sky. And then we have the Aurora Borealis, like the Northern Lights for this planet right here from solar storms and the magnetic field. Then we have this giant nebula. So this is a beautiful night sky. And let's see, let's, like if you were here with a telescope, what could you see? Cause they're gonna be able to zoom in and you're gonna be able to see some of these other nebulas with telescopes. So like if humans lived here, this is some of the stuff they would see. Look at that, that's a cool nebula. And living right next to this nebula would be so cool. Like the stuff we would be able to learn about nebulas and just about space, awesome. That's a cool one. Look how many stars, like the star density too. I feel like it's a lot higher than it is in the Milky Way, but it could also be I just have the exposure turned up so high. Is that a nebula? Oh, that's like the other one we just saw, like the tunnel one. And then there's another galaxy too, and another nebula. Okay, so that's our night sky on this planet. I actually really, that's one of the coolest night skies I have seen yet. Um, I think it's time now to go to our our galaxy and look at some real nebulae with what we're doing here. So we're gonna go to the Milky Way, which is quite a bit far. Okay, so you can see all of these bright dots are the nebulae because I've turned them so bright in the settings so we can see them more. This looks like a lot brighter than the rest. Um, and some of these are real and some of them are not. So if we just click on it, the Carina Nebula, this is a real nebula right here. Look at that, the beauty of it. So let's find a planet. Oh, no way, we picked one that has life? The chances of that are pretty low. So this planet here has life on it. Just, ex oh, it's exotic unicellular. So I'm pretty sure exotic means it's not carbon-based because all life that we know of is carbon-based, but exotic means it's not. So let's see what our night sky might look like with this. Wow. There's another nebula like built inside that we can see. I think it's just behind it, but look at that. So realistic lighting, wait for the camera to adjust. So this is not realistic how bright all of these nebulas would be in the Milky Way. But look, so we got our like mountain range and then we got nebula there, this giant nebula here, some nebulas there. I mean, we have all of these that you could be able to see with a telescope. Like, whoa, look at that. But no, they're not gonna be as bright as they look right there. Um, and if we turn the exposure really high, let's see what we can see. Whoa, it just shows how much like stuff there really is. It's just, it's so dim that we can't even see it. Even from Earth, the view would be kind of crazy. Let's actually go to Earth right now and just turn the exposure up on the night sky and see what we can see. Okay, go night, nighttime on Earth. We're in the middle of the ocean. Okay, so yeah, exposure up. This is what, you could see if we had a really, really long exposure camera. I mean, the nebulas are a lot brighter. Let's put the nebulas back kind of where they were. Okay, so the nebulas are now more realistic lighting. So you don't see nearly as many, but they are still here. If you zoom in in the right spots, like there's one. And throughout like this band of the Milky Way, you see a lot, like there's one. That's a pretty nebula and just scanning across, there's one. Like, it's kind of crazy that they are actually, these are real places in space. That is so cool to me. And I think that's Andromeda right there. Yeah, Andromeda Galaxy. Okay, let's go find one more cool nebula in the Milky Way and we'll see what it would look like to live there. So that really bright one was the Carina Nebula. What are these purple ones? Like, what is this one? Oh, dude, this is so cool. Look at that one, okay. So let's do one right on the outside. So maybe like this star here has a couple planets. So if this planet was our home, let's go land on it. And this is what the night sky would look like. Whoa, okay, realistic lighting time. That's realistic. Okay, wow. And then turn the exposure up really high. So it's like on the same level as the Milky Way. So the Milky Way kind of drowns out the full nebula. There's a moon right there. 
But look at that. Okay, and then there were some stars in this nebula. So let's go look at those and see what life would be like inside of this nebula. One of these stars. We'll go you, this planet. Okay, night sky on this planet. Let's check it out. So we have the exposure turned up really high. It's not really going to be this bright. So this is what the sky could look like. Whoa, that is so cool. It like mixes with the galaxy. It's like if you, if this is what scientists saw, they might not know at first if this is part of the galaxy or not until they could like discover how far distances were. Like ancient tribes and stuff might just think that this is all one thing because there's no way to tell that this entire section is different than the, than the Milky Way. That's cool. Okay, so there is the Milky Way and some of the nebulae in there. If you guys have more places or things that you want me to try or look at in Space Engine, put them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.